All right, it is August 31st. Eden, what are we doing? We are giving notice on our apartment. Our 60 days notice, which means that in 60 days, on October 31st, we have to be out of here. Okay, Ooh, this is the scary one. Okay, here we go. Sent. Woo! Woo! All right, we better get building. In less than two months, we are moving into this van and we have been hustling. We've cut holes in the roof, put up our insulation, run wiring, built our subfloor, but now we're coming up on one of the parts that I am most excited for, the woodworking. A lot of van lifers buy pre-made cabinets and then modify them to fit in the van, but we are building everything from scratch. Shouldn't be too hard, right? It's not like we need to be done and moved into this thing in seven weeks or anything. So good at that? You're very good at holding it level. We're just a perfect team. I'm a bike. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Ooh. Nice. 23 and a quarter, let's do it. We're not getting married anymore. <laughs> Her ring's just getting resized. <laughs> Yeah, that was dangerous. I don't. I shouldn't have passed that one through like that. That's okay, darling. We all make mistakes, and no fingers were lost. If we're off by more than one sixty-fourth, I'm leaving you. <laughs> all right, show me those driver skills. Ooh, no pressure. The main thing is just keeping the drill bit aligned with the screw. Yeah. There you go, a little more. Nice. Okay. Thank you. We're Great good. job. You've never been that patient with me when I'm using the driver. <laughs> We're getting better. <laughs> We're getting better. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Have you ever tried taking candy from a baby? No, it sounds really mean. It's really easy. <laughs> So we're gonna add glue to all these joints. This is just to dry fit everything into the van. We're trying to avoid making irreversible mistakes. <laughs> Why do you say things like that? My hair keeps getting caught in the cord from the <laughs> air So with our kitchen cabinets built, the van is really starting to feel like it's coming together, but we're coming up against the problem of none of these walls being square. It's okay though, we anticipated that. So basically we have a 24 inch hallway running the length of the van and everything is referenced against that. We have this line marked on the ground, we're trying to make one solid line all the way down, but this wall is not a consistent distance from that line. We have things like this pillar, which pushes out the cabinet from the wall. And if you look along this back edge, you can see that the top starts flush down here. And as we move down, we have like an inch overhang all the way at the other end. It's all right though, we designed for that. This top is not actually gonna be square, but we're gonna fake it like it is. We'll flush trim this back edge so it can sit flush against the wall. This front edge will look perfectly in line with everything else. I mean, it will be perfectly in line, but the cabinet will get slightly narrower as we move towards the front. It won't even be noticeable though. That's the plan anyway. I hope it works out. So because this overhang is huge, the flush trim bit is not gonna like getting rid of all that material. So I'm gonna trim away some of it with the circular saw to start. Beautiful. All right, let's see if our plan worked. Okay. Nice. That's 
That looks pretty perfect to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, it's off by about a sixteenth. No, we want an eighth gap so we can have something to close the oh, fronts right. against. So that's why it's seven eighths. It's the thickness of the plywood plus a little cushion to close it against. Oh. And then this is perfectly in line with the drawers and we'll have our countertops on top of this that have an overhang. Boom! Let's hope the other one worked as well. Okay. Okay. By the way, we did glue these together. I don't know if it came across on camera. Glue and screws, baby. Oh, Eden, it's perfect. Okay, we're good. We should become Finnish carpenters. Oh gosh, no thank you. Do you want to build a house together? Okay. All right, what should we do now? Well, the logical next step would be to build the 3D printer shell. 3D printer and a bunch of storage is going to be one big vertical unit right here. Basically, exactly Eden's footprint right now. I'm hungry though, again. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see what I've been working on? Yeah. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Boom. Wow, it's so exact. I don't know how drywallers do it. I know there's a trick to it, but this was just trial and error. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is gonna be we already knew we were gonna have to trim this. So what we'll wanna do now is mark the places that need to be trimmed. Okay, before we do that though, we have accidentally have the ugly side out. Oh no! How ugly is it? It's not that bad. There's like one patch. There's a patch. And another patch. And this actually is gonna be shown. Well, let's see what happens if it goes on the other side. <laughs> it's just, I, I kind of made this template specifically to fit around this. So yeah. there might be like some big gaps. The thing is like this side isn't amazing either. Like we have a little knot hole right there. Yeah. This side honestly is pretty good. The only quote bad thing is like we have some of these little patches here, but like they're almost unnoticeable. That's true. And we might have like stuff hanging on this wall anyway. Yeah, we haven't actually thought about what we're gonna put here. Like we probably wanna have hooks here. I just took the prettiest shot of this entire video. Right. Ooh. It's pretty good. All right, so before we trim this so that these are in line, we're happy with this being exposed. Do you want to step back where I am and look at it? I mean, now that I know that imperfections are there, <laughs> I'll never not be able to see them. Okay, yeah, back here it looks good. All right, so let's just keep it on this side. It is not perfect, but nothing with this will be perfect, and that is okay. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Ooh, look at that line. Perfect. Look at that. That's pretty perfect. Nice. It only took 20 times back and forth with the jigsaw. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Is that where you're gonna live? It's very cozy. All right, I'm really proud of this. With zero square edges in this van and super irregular walls, we were still able to get these two vertical pieces pretty much perfectly in line just by siding it down this line here and then using reference lines off the floor and creating perpendicular lines from the beams on the ceiling. We're off by like a 16th of an inch, pretty much the width of the Sharpie line from here to here, but it looks so good. Like if you stand at the end of the van and look down, look at that. Those are like pretty much perfectly in line. And then I know that this cabinet looks like it's overhanging, but that's on purpose. Now we're at the point where we feel like we have to justify all our work. Cause we're like, we see the mistakes. It's okay. It's okay guys. <laughs> it's okay. Just spam right. the comments with good girl. I don't know why I thought we could do all the cabinetry in one weekend. This is what I was saying. You're like, okay, so our goals for this weekend are we're gonna do all the cabinetry, we're gonna uh, design the whole water system, we're gonna go to Home Depot. I was like, can we choose one attainable goal, please? Don't let your dreams be dreams. Girl. No, I mean, I, I, I think it's actually good. I think it's a good dynamic. Like, you have these stretch goals, which I think is inspirational, and it makes us like work a bit faster which can be good sometimes, a lot of the time. And um, I have the realistic sort of 
default. What are you laughing at? Okay, I'm done struggling. You might be done struggling, but that drill isn't. I think it needs a new battery. Mm -hmm. Just put your weight on it, see what happens. So we'll have a cushion on that so it's a little higher, and that will be our workstation. Is it bending in the middle? It is, yeah. So we'll need something reinforcing it. So this bench seat does sag more than I would like. We probably should have made this out of three quarter inch plywood, but you lay in the bed you made, and I'd really rather not waste a piece of plywood. So I made this rail, and I think by attaching this to the front edge, that should add a lot of stiffness. All right, let's see. Wow, that is so much better. Got like no sag now. Structural engineering. See mom, I'm using my degree. One thing we're finding with this van build is it is impossible to do an entire project start to finish in one go. It would have been really nice to build these cabinets all the way through, build the drawers, have all the doors on the fronts, but there are so many little details you have to figure out. I was able to build the shelf that is gonna hold our fridge, but we have to figure out exactly what drawer slides we're using for that. We need to pretty much order all of those drawer slides before we can even build all of our smaller drawers. But there was one set of drawer slides that we were able to get. These are 48 inch drawer slides that hold 300 pounds. And they are going to extend out the back of our van to make a deck that we can walk out it was inspired by one of our favorite van life YouTubers, Max and Augie. At least one of my favorites. I don't know if it's one of Eden's favorites. Yeah, they're great. I'm a sucker for an Australian accent. So we're gonna switch gears and get this thing built. I think it's gonna be a great momentum builder as well because it's one of the things that both of us have been really excited to add to the van. So we cut these two side pieces out of half inch plywood. We're being very conscious about the thickness of all we use for this because we wanna fit my foldable solar panel inside the drawer. Now we're gonna have solar panels on our roof, but this will give us a little extra solar capacity. And as you can see, these big heavy duty drawer slides are pretty thick. So if we used three quarter plywood on the side, we calculated it out and this would just not fit inside. So hopefully, this thing will still be strong enough. I mean, all these pieces really are, are a platform for our sort of bridge piece to sit on. The thing I'm most worried about is we're building the box out of half inch plywood as well. That's gonna hold a lot of force, but the shape of it should give it a lot of strength. Obviously three quarter inch plywood would make it stiffer, but uh, we gotta try. If it's not strong enough, we can always rebuild it. So we're gonna use these angle brackets to anchor the side pieces to our subfloor and screw it into the benches as well. But as you can see, the drawer slide needs to sit flush up against here. So we need to carve out a recess so we can get those to sit flush with the wooden piece. Ah, <laughs> don't crack the solar panel. <laughs> Wow, no guide. Are you a pro or something? Can you hear me? <laughs> Ooh, let's see if it fits. All right, so we got our pull-out platform made out of half-inch plywood, glued and screwed together. Now, the reason we went with that is to see if our solar panel can fit inside, our collapsible solar panel. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! Wait. Oh, it's pretty tight. Yeah. I wonder if we just took it out of the case. 
There we go. Boom. Nice. <laughs> All right, so that fits inside, and if it's too tight, we can take the case off. Now, what I'm more worried about is how much the half-inch top is going to flex when we stand on it. Um, all right, let's just find out. How does it look? I mean, it looks... I don't see... I don't see nothing. It feels good. Like, it doesn't feel like it's flexing a ton. I can't see anything to the naked eye. I think you're good. I think we're good. I think this is gonna work. All right, next step. Will the drawer slides rip the benches out of the van <laughs> when we stand on the end? I think we're, as long as we anchor it enough to the floor, it should be okay, which I think we did. All right, let's see if the drawer fits. Oof, Oof. that's pretty perfect. I don't want it to get caught. Do you want to just take off like a sixteenth of an inch? Yeah, I think we should just shave off a sixteenth on the table saw. Thank you. Thank you. Whoops. I don't think we even hit any of the nail heads. I didn't see sparks. No, I didn't either. Ooh. There we go. That's perfect. Nice. All right, that's the last screw. But I think the real test is the weight. I gotta try it, Eden. We put so much work I in. I know, I literally just felt sick. Okay, can you start at the back and slowly make your way yes. forward? And we hear ooks and eeks and moans yep. and groans and we stop? Yes. Ready? No, I can't do it. I'm more nervous than when you made the cake stand. It is supporting my weight. <laughs> Let's get it! My cake stand lives! Let's see if I can get it. So I'm at like a third of the way. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I don't, I don't hear anything. Okay. I think like I didn't good. hear a creak. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I can feel I can feel the van bouncing. Because yeah. I have like a lot of leverage against the van right now. Wow. This is so okay, don't bounce it! But it's fine. Okay, but just don't. And we still have more screws that we can add. This thing is strong. Eden, I think you should try it. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm gonna sit on the end. Oh my God, Morley, you're literally gonna give me an aneurysm. <laughs> but what if you were just like warming it up to break? Okay. Go for it. I never learned how to dive properly. It's gonna feel a little wiggly, but just know that it's gonna hold your weight. I am brave, I am strong, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am intelligent, I am brave, I am strong. Okay, I did it. Nice! <laughs> we did it! I we did built it. a thing and it works. I'm not going like to the end end, that seems like tempting fate. Okay. Katrina, Katrina! So obviously we still have a lot of work left to do on the cabinets, but at a certain point, this video has to end. We're moving into this thing in seven weeks, so hopefully I can make seven more build videos before we head out, but we might have to do some building on the road. So some of those videos might come out while we're in the van. If you are interested in listening to more discussions about this build, about how we're handling it as individuals, as a couple, check out our podcast, Morley and Eden's Grand Adventure. We're filming it in this van, so you can watch it on YouTube, or you can listen to it on your favorite podcast app. And if you want even more behind the scenes, you can directly support this channel on Patreon. You can get exclusive access to my behind the scenes Instagram page and Discord community. And I wanna give a special thank you to my top supporter on Patreon, my mom, Kathy Kurt. Thanks mom, I love you. And I'll see you at our wedding in two weeks. Oh, she's at the end. I did it.
I'm proud of you. Okay, it's over. <laughs>